Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I just wanted to record this video to show you just how quick and simple it is to edit an imperfect baby photo using the Bella Baby Pretty Presets. So I've got this photo. I think it's the skin is just a touch underexposed. It just it's not perfect. So I'm going to first choose a global preset, and that's going to be this angelic preset right here. I'm going to click on it. And it will make a bit of a difference to my image, but definitely not make it perfect straight out of the camera. The next thing I'm going to do is I notice a little bit of vignetting from my lens. This was shot with a 50 millimeter f1.4 Nikon lens. So I'm going to come over here to the lens correction panel, which is several below the basic panel, and I'm going to choose enable profile corrections. And this is going to make a difference mainly to the outside image or the outside um, corners of my image you're going to see that that really just takes the vignetting away. The next thing I'm going to do is come down to the Bella Baby workflow. And there are, these presets are just below the regular Bella Baby all-in-one presets. These are meant to be layered on top of your image. And for baby images, typically I want to reduce saturation just a little bit. The skin tends to be um, just require a little bit less saturation and I'm going to reduce the contrast just a little bit and then I'm also going to add a tiny bit of exposure to this image I think it could use a little bit of exposure to just keep it really light and bright that's how I like my baby images generally so next I'm going to come over to my adjustment brush and the adjustment brush is going to allow me to just make some small adjustments to little areas of my image. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this add detail brush over just the eyelashes and eyes of the image. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and add a touch to the hair. And I've got my overlay on. I'm just going to tap O to turn it off. Sometimes I like it on, sometimes I like it off. I'm going to click new. And the next thing I'm going to do is to choose the Kiss Away the Red brush. And that one's right here. I'm going to run this over the eyelid right here that's got a little bit of extra redness. And I'm going to run it over the hands. And I'm seeing a lot of extra redness here in the hands that I just want to get rid of. And maybe a touch right here, just a little click right there on the forehead. I'm actually going to click new and run it again a little bit more. I don't want to desaturate it too much, but I do want to get rid of some of this red here. So I'm just going to run it over a little bit more. <laughs> this might be doing it way too much. So we'll see. We may delete kind of the second try. Or maybe we can just reduce it a little bit. So bring the saturation back up a little bit. Okay, I think we're doing okay right there. That's good. The last thing that I'm going to do with the adjustment brush is to run smooth as the baby's bottom. Whoops, I turned that off. Didn't mean to. And I'm just going to go over the top of the skin areas, mainly the forehead. I'm going to be careful not to get the eyes, so I'll make it smaller and bring it down over the nose and cheek. And I am going to run it over the hands right here that are right in front. Okay. And then I'm done with the adjustment brush. The last thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of cloning. And on a normal baby, I usually do quite a bit of cloning. Baby skin is a little bit of a nightmare. But on this image, I'm really only going to do clone this little piece of the blanket right here. And I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit. And really, in just a couple of minutes here, we've got a nicely edited baby image with just a couple of clicks and a couple of brushes. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you edit your baby images beautifully in Lightroom.